Good day everyone! Welcome to General Chemistry 1. I am Aliyah Kal Esablay, a student from grade 11 Leibniz. Our objectives for today are to be able to define organic compounds, to be able to identify four categories of organic compounds, and last, to be able to provide common examples of organic compounds at home. But before we proceed to our main topic, let us all define what organic compound is. So, organic compounds are the carbon-containing compounds that found in living things. It is the substances that contains covalently bonded carbon, hydrogen, and often other elements. There are four major categories of organic compounds that we can find in living things, and these are the carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acid. And now, we can proceed to our main topic which is the common organic compounds at home. First, we have paper. We can find it in our home, but what makes it organic? There is no chemical symbol for paper since it is not an element, but rather it is a mixture of several different compounds. Paper is most mainly carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Next, we have here shampoos. Organic shampoos simply don't have the chemicals present in traditional shampoos. It contains natural ingredients like proteins, essential oils, vitamins, and fruit extracts. Next, butter. It is belong to the lipids and fats group. It is made from milk, therefore it is organic. Next, we have here eggs. To classify as organic, Eggs must be come from chickens that are fed organic feed. And last, we have here sugar. They are organic compound as organic compound defined as carbon containing compound with hydrogen attracted most of the time. Those are the common examples of organic compounds that we can find in our home. Thank you for watching.